My own daughter asked me the other day why yawning is infectious. I know. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I can't even speak about it without yawning. And now, I bet that you've just yawned too. Yawning is one of the most common, widespread, and mysterious of human behaviors. Almost all vertebrates do it, and it seems to be contagious in just about every species. Certainly, researchers have found evidence that chimps, dogs, cats, birds, and even reptiles find yawning contagious. Not only that, but a lot of species catch yawns from other species. My colleague, Andrea, has dogs. One yawns, then the other one does. Then she yawns, then they all yawn together. Writing the script for this insert was a nightmare. I yawned every 15 seconds. It was the literary equivalent of chopping onions. What is bizarre is that we don't even know why we yawn. It allows us to stretch our eardrums and take a very deep breath. We also often accompany a yawn with a long, delicious stretch. Stretching and yawning together is called pendiculating. There. At least you're going to learn something today. Theories as to why we do this include clearing our lungs of stale air and regulating our brain temperature. I can't see why either of these would be contagious, though. Another theory suggests that it is a social signal to warn your tribe mates that you are feeling sleepy and should be more alert. But that would suggest that yawning makes you more alert. I'm not convinced that's true. Contagious yawning definitely requires an awareness of social cues. Children younger than six, and indeed puppies, are not particularly susceptible, and people on the autism spectrum are often impervious to others' yawns. Because yawning, and especially contagious yawning, exists across so many species types, it suggests that it must have occurred in the common ancestors of birds, reptiles, and mammals. That means it's been around since before the dinosaurs. I think it's quite possible that it is just one of those strange, quirky things that isn't particularly advantageous or otherwise, and so has survived eons of evolution.